Hello friends, in this video, we'll discuss the formula for Poisson distribution and when we can use Poisson distribution. Friends, till now we are done with binomial distribution. Now starting with Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution is also a type of discrete distribution. The formula is, if you remember the formula for Poisson distribution, it was P x is equal to x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x. Here the formula for Poisson distribution is e raised to minus m m raised to x upon x factorial. Poisson distribution is quite uh, simple as compared to binomial distribution. In case of binomial distribution, there were three things that was required for the formula n p and q. In Poisson distribution, only one unknown that is m which is your mean. This is the only unknown here. X as discussed, this is not unknown. This is already provided in the problem. In case of Poisson distribution, mean and variance both are equal to NP. In binomial distribution, mean was NP, variance was NPQ, but here both mean, variance both are NP. Let's discuss when to use Poisson distribution. The conditions are exactly opposite to binomial distribution. First point is same. There are only two possibilities, success and failure. Point number two, if you remember in case of binomial distribution n, that is number of trials is less. Here it is more, opposite. And there, probability of success was more here probability of success is less more means you can say greater than 50 in general less you can say less than 5 percent this is not hard and fast rule greater than 50 or less than 5 we just uh, uh, taking our assumptions so it depends upon the problem all the problem all the factors in the problem will make up or will decide whether the problem is of Poisson distribution or not only one unknown m that needs to be calculated here we have discussed the formulas in the next video we'll see how to use the formulas thank you